Welcome. My name is Alan Hirahara. Today I would like to discuss and demonstrate a novel rotator cuff augmentation technique using the new knotless swivel lock anchors and Arthoflex Dermo Allograft, the speed bridge canopy augmentation technique. I will demonstrate a modified speed bridge technique using the knotless swivel lock anchors, where I use the knotless mechanisms to shuttle the Arthoflex graft securely and knotlessly over the top of the repair. I have trialed this technique on my patients with much success where I completed the initial repair and then decided an augmentation would be beneficial afterwards. Postoperatively, I use ultrasound to examine my repairs. This ultrasound image shows a 2mm Arthoflex graft in place above the speed bridge repair and has clearly increased in thickness from 2.3mm medially to 4.6mm laterally over the tuberosity. This cadaveric video clearly demonstrates the technique where a full thickness rotator cuff tear has been created. This tear is mobile, easily reduces to the footprint, and is repairable using a speed bridge configuration. The anterior socket for the medial row is created and a 4.75 mm knotless biocomposite swivel lock is fixed into the socket. This is repeated for the posterior medial row anchor. All sutures from the anterior medial anchor are gathered and pulled through the lateral portal. Using a scorpion suture passer, a fiber link is passed through the rotator cuff corresponding to the anchor location. The sutures are then shuttled en masse using the fiber link. This is repeated for the posterior sutures. The fiber tapes and knotless sutures can be shuttled separately through the tissue to help prevent the sutures from becoming tangled on the underside of the cuff. A fiber tape limb from each anchor is retrieved out the lateral portal and loaded to a knotless swivel lock. A socket is created, the fiber tapes are tensioned, and the anchor is fixed into the socket. This is repeated for the posterior anchor of the lateral row. This completes the standard four-way speed bridge rotator cuff repair. If the rotator cuff tissue is thinned and requires augmentation, the knotless sutures in each anchor are retained. To determine graft size for augmentation, a repair suture is attached to the SCR guide. The distance is measured on the SCR guide by using a hemostat to mark the zero position on the device externally. As the repair suture is moved to the adjacent anchor, the hemostat is displaced from the zero position. This displacement distance corresponds to the distance between the two anchors. Using the repair sutures from opposing corner anchors will yield the measurements of the four sides of the graft. Measurement is required as the graft dimensions need to be specific to the construct to prevent dog ears or overtension of the graft. A 2 mm decellularized dermal allograft is preferred for this procedure. To prevent suture entanglement, a passport divider is placed into the 12 mm passport cannula in the anterior lateral portal. The repair suture and looped end of the passing suture from each anchor are pulled through the respective compartment created by the divider. A scorpion suture passer is used to pass the repair suture through the graft in the corresponding corner. The repair suture is passed through the loop of its passing suture. By pulling on the opposing end of the passing suture, the repair suture is seated into the locking mechanism of its anchor. The remaining sutures are passed in the same manner to each respective corner of the graft. The divider is removed and the graft is passed into the joint using a back grasper. With the graft introduced, the suture ends are pulled to set the graft in a position and tensioned appropriately. The excess repair sutures are cut. A biologic such as PRP or bone marrow concentrate may be placed in situ both under the repair and between the tendon and canopy which keeps the biologic in place. This adds soft tissue to the construct, providing a protective covering that helps prevent humeral acromial contact protecting the repair. This also creates a rebar effect of having fiber tape from the speed bridge interdigitated within the soft tissue.